Okay, in our first video, we sort of just dove right in and got our hands dirty in Photoshop and basically created our first layered document. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at basically the workspace and just kind of customize it to our own liking. So new to Photoshop CS4, we have these options up at the top here. Right here, we have the view extras, which have the three of the basic most commonly used extras, like such as guides and grids and rulers. So now instead of having to go under the view application menu and then down to show and then down to the guides or the rulers or whatnot, all of those are conveniently located in one quick little button right here. Some of the other commonly used features like the hand tool and the zoom tool are also up at the top here. And the screen mode, which in previous versions of Photoshop used to be down here at the bottom of the tools palette is now at the top. Here you can select different views or different ways of viewing your images inside of Photoshop. And then new to Photoshop CS4, we have the arrange document button, which is actually very cool especially if you have several documents open at once. You can arrange them in several different manners. This big button over here that says Essentials is a very cool way to quickly change workspaces, and it will display which current workspace you have. So I've created my own workspace, but chances are yours is still default right now, which is the Essentials. So let's kind of look at cleaning up some of the clutter over here in the panels. Now, when we're just starting out in Photoshop, chances are we're not really going to need some of these panels, such as the color and the swatches or even the styles. So what we're basically going to do is just kind of get rid of these for now. Now, it's important to note that anything that we close over here in the panels, you can open up at any time later on by simply going up to window and then just selecting them here and then they will open up once more over here. So for just starting out, we're probably not ever going to use this color swatches or styles group right here. So if we right click on one of the tabs, we can either choose close to close that tab or we can choose close tab group, which is gonna close this entire grouping of tabs here, the color swatches and styles. So we're not going to use these for a long time, or at least we're going to focus on more of a photographer centric type of a layout. So right click on one of the tabs, choose close tab group, and that's going to get rid of some of those distracting tabs up top, leaving us with our most important panels, which are the layers, channels, and paths down here and the two brand new panels, the adjustments and the masks dialog, or panels rather. So let me talk briefly about these two new panels. In order to actually get a better feel, I'm gonna to have to open up an image. So I'm just going to open up our sample image once more. Now you can see we've got our background layer down here in layers, and the new adjustments panel has several different adjustments that we can make. Basically, you'll be using these adjustments as non-destructive ways, keyword being non-destructive, of editing your photos. So you can edit the color, the black and white, the exposure, several different things all over here in the adjustment panel. Previous versions of Photoshop, down here, you'd have to basically add your adjustment layer, and then it would pop up this big dialog inside the window that you'd have to sort of move out of the way in order to be able to actually see some of these changes. So now with the new adjustment dialog, say I wanted to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, I'd simply click once to add the adjustment layer. You can see as soon as I clicked it, it added an adjustment layer, my layers palette. And then I could basically play around with the settings. We're not really gonna get into any of these dialogs, at least not right now anyway but you can see how handy it is now to have the adjustments all contained inside this panel off to the right. So you can see basically the entire image as you're editing and doing whatever you need to do. And I can click this little arrow, go back to the main adjustments, I can still 
re-edit the adjustment layer and toss it out if I need to. So it's pretty cool to have all these little adjustments all in one place and everything over here in the right side of the screen. The masks panel we'll get to much later in our video series, but it is basically a very cool way of editing layer masks. And layer masks are basically one of the fundamentals of Photoshop. But as I said, we'll get to those much later. So as I mentioned in the previous video, over here in the toolbar, as we select any of the tools, up here along the top in the tool options, we'll get several different options. So it's important to note that if you are using a tool, you have different options available to you up at the top. Remember we use the type tool and up at the top, you can change the font and the size and the style and the color and so on and so on. So it's important to note the relationship between the tool options and the toolbar. I also mentioned in the previous video that new to CS4, we now have these windows that are tabbed windows. So they're basically docked inside of Photoshop. They're inside this window here and they're tabbed. So if we open a different one or multiple images rather, they open up in different tabbed windows. Now, for those of you who aren't used to that or aren't ready for it yet, there are a few things you can do. As I said, you can easily undock any of the windows simply by clicking on the tab and then just dragging it away. You can dock them again just as easily by clicking the image. And as you can see, as I bring it near the window, this blue line appears and it'll let me dock that once again to this window with the other tab. Another really cool way to undock everything new to CS4 up here in the top is the arrange documents. And you can choose several different, as I said earlier, different ways of viewing open multiple documents. But I'm going to choose right now float in all windows, which is going to basically undock all my windows and give me these two floating images here. So if you can't get into the whole tabbed windows thing, and some of you might not like that, you can basically go up to edit and down here to preferences. And as far as preferences are concerned, you want to choose interface. And right down here in the middle, panels and documents, you can uncheck the open documents as tabs. And that'll basically open any new documents that you create or open in its own little window. Then click OK. So I'm going to close these two windows here. And before we move on and save our workspace, it's important to note one other thing. This is basically the standard view for the panels, but you can also collapse them with these little triangles right here into buttons. So that basically when you click the button, the panel shoots out on the left side here like so. And you can also grab the handle, grab the side of the panels, shrink them so that they're very small buttons to get them to basically free up as much space as you want. And also expand them once again to the full standard view of the panels. Same with the toolbar. You can collapse it into this single row that it was earlier or this more standard double row, which was basically new to Photoshop CS3. So now that we have sort of a custom workspace set up, we're going to look at another application menu up here, the window down to workspace, and then we're going to save workspace. You can give your workspace a name like my workspace, then click save. You can see up at the top, since we're now working in the My Workspace, if you click on that button, you can go back to the Essentials or any other workspaces that you have created. 